Revising. When we edit and revise, first reread your writing. Think, does it make sense? Is there anything I can add or take away from the writing to help it make sense to the reader? Below is an introduction to the narrative. What is something I could add to this writing about visiting a farm to make the writing more interesting or clear? A boy from the city went to visit a farm. He helped with a lot of the chores and found out that he couldn't wear his regular clothes while helping. He needed farm clothes. Think, what are some things that we could add, some details that would make it more vivid, make it stand out and uh, create a picture in the reader's mind? And what's something that we could clarify for the reader so they're not left wondering questions about the story? Well, we could ask, where's the boy from? What are some of the different chores he helped with on the farm? And how did he get so messy? See how much more interesting the story is with the details included? Let's read this new version with more details. A boy named Robert from Oklahoma City went to visit a big farm in Kansas. He helped with a lot of the chores on the farm, like milking cows, feeding pigs, and collecting chicken eggs. Robert quickly found out that he couldn't wear his regular clothes while helping in the garden with, and with the animals. He needed special farm clothes. Already, we know so much more about Robert, where he's from, and his experiences on the farm. Think of the different ways that you could add more detail to your story so that it is more interesting and more clear for the reader. Next, look at another part of the essay. What can be taken away? Is there anything out of place or confusing? Robert loved to help milk the cows and make cheese with the farmer's wife. Robert's favorite snack was potato chips. First, Robert would milk the cows. Then he would begin the process of heating the cheese. Then he continues by adding bacteria and rennet. The cows had very soft noses. Well, it's a little silly to have a part about potato chips. That's not relevant to the story. We don't need to know that at all. Do you see anything else that is a little out of place? The cows had very soft noses. Well, that's really neat. And maybe if this was a paragraph about the cows and not about the cheese from the cows, then we could include that detail. But it's a little out of place. We don't need to know about the cows' very soft noses in this paragraph. Let's take those out. Next, with editing and revising, you want to look at your grammar, spelling, and details like that. Think, are your proper nouns capitalized? And are the first words in each sentence capitalized? Are the main words in the titles and articles capitalized? Are quotation marks used to signal a person's exact words? Is correct punctuation used at the end of each sentence? Are commas correctly used within the sentences? Do pronouns agree with the subject? That means you don't say uh, she were or he were. Are words spelled correctly? Are there complete sentences with a period at the end, a subject, and a verb? Using your writing notebook, today we're going to use our editing checklist and we're going to add vivid details and take away anything that doesn't need to be in your writing that might be confusing the reader. Let's start that now. <laughs> 